Alright, Shalom. Yeremiah from the Toronto camp in uh, Canada, uh, known as uh, History of the Chosen. On this channel is History of Yaakov. Alright, today's lesson will be focusing on um, Jacob's history and his role in uh, being an inventor, okay? Because uh, Jacob, which is uh, Israel, you Negroes and uh, Latinos and Native Americans, alright, you're the Lord's chosen people. Okay, and the Most High bless you with special knowledge, and He bless you with the gifts. Okay, because there's chosen people. I'm going to bring out a couple of scriptures to prove this. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Now, the portion of Jacob is the Most High. But guess what? The most, the most high chose Israel, Jacob, right? So if he has a chosen people, he's gonna make them also the uh, creator of all things. All right, the former of all things, the inventors. Uh, this is uh, another precept, Jeremiah fifty-one, verse nineteen. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Now I'm going to go into the Apocrypha. Alright. Which is part of the Bible. It looks like this. The Apocrypha, the King James Version. It was taken out of the original Bible. By the Bible Destruction Group. Alright. But through the spirit of the Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know. We have uh identified it as a uh, authoritative okay so this is uh from baruch and, and this is going to further prove my point of how the mosai uh revealed knowledge to us this is from the book of baruch chapter 3 verse 36 he had found out all the way of knowledge now this is the mosai so he hath found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto jacob his servant and to israel his beloved so the Most High found out all the way of knowledge, right? And he showed it unto his servant Jacob. So that's the proof right there, all right? Now let's go into, um, uh, again, in the Apocrypha, 2 Ezra chapter 3. 2 Ezra 3 and 18. And it says, And bowing the heavens, thou didst set fast the earth, and and movest the whole world, and madest the depths to tremble, and troublest the men of that age. And thy glory went through four gates of fire, and of earthquake, and of wind, and of cold, that thou mightest give the law unto the seed of Jacob, and diligence unto the generation of Israel. So the Most High gave us diligence, man. That means we study. All right, we're the greatest people on the planet. All right, so now I'm going to go again to the regular Bible. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom. So this is talking about the laws. So the laws are wisdom, that's our knowledge. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who hath the most high so nigh unto them? As the Lord our power is in all things that we may that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that hath statues and judgments so righteous as all this law which I said before you this day? All right, and also uh, Second Samuel chapter seven, verse uh, twenty-three. It states, "And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom the Most High went to redeem for people to Himself, and to make Him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land, before thy people." which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. Alright, so that's a lot of good scriptures, you know. What nation is like unto the 
children of Israel. So this is a book right here. It's called The Black Adventures. Crafting over 200 of years of success. All right, by uh, Keith C. Holmes. Okay. I'm going to hit up a couple pages here. All right. And it reads, Many enslaved or free Africans, meaning Israelites, suffered a great injustice because although their ideas were patented, patented, they never received recognition or monetary compensation for the invention. So Esau stole all those inventions, all those, you know, thank Esau, thank the white men, all that. Esau stole it from Jake. Although a cross-section of industries benefited financially from these ideas, for the most part, the black inventors and their people did not. Some of the earliest patents filled by black men and women were filed in Canada, France, Haiti, Jamaica, the, the United Kingdom, and the United States. All right, which is all, which is all, that's where all Jake dwelt. Jake dwells in all those lands. All right. And here's some uh, examples. Uh, Thomas L. Jennings, Richmond, Virginia, granted a United States patent for a dry cleaning procedure, namely dry scurrying of clothes on March 3, 1821. Afro-Cuban inventor Mar Mariso R. Planched, Havana, Cuba, received a patent for a pneumatic tire on May 29, 1923. Black Frenchman Lucien Maurice, which Maurice is another uh, term for more, uh, Paris, France granted a patent for an accumulator of heat on May 30th, 1899. Haiti inventor Miguel Boom, Port of France, Port au Prince, like uh, Haiti, awarded a patent for a music box on November 14th, 1883. Uh, Jamaica inventor Dougal Clark St. Thomas in the East Jamaica granted a patent for an application of steam to sugar milling in 1769 making him one of the earliest black men to receive a patent in the western hemisphere all right um, let's go to page 35 it says according to my research it's like it Okay, according to my research from, from 1900 to 1999, black inventors patented over 6,000 inventions. Over time, the number of inventions by black inventors increased exponentially from 2000 to 2007. Blacks patented over 5,000 inventions. Bear in mind that these numbers are subject to change as new inventions by black inventors are constantly being uncovered. These patents mean that black men and women were inventing filing for patents, selling their patents, and setting up businesses. The numbers of patents reflect a fraction of actual inventions by black people. As, ma as a matter of fact, if one includes all the ideas, and innovations, and discoveries that black men and women were responsible for on a worldwide scale, these inventions would number in the millions. And here's a large chart. Okay, so here I'm just going to go here. Okay, eye protector, double-bladed windshield wiper with a uh, central sponge portion, the tent. All right, Jake made the tent. Weatherboard gauge, method of, of and system for transcribing dictations in text files and for revising the text. Process for treating steel to prevent rusting. Uh, the rail joint, device for indoor security. The key, process for preparing coconut for domestic use. Window ventilator, process and yam into flour, ironing board, um, shaving brush, corn planter, method for the sorting program locations, um, automobile, automobile parking device, accumulator of heat, windmill switch, running gear, okay. Uh, machine which produces inexhaustible electrical energy, rotary engine, lantern or lamp, riding saddle for the horse, self-setting animal trap, vehicle guiding system, specific and reversible carbon monoxide sensor, electronic anti-theft device,
portable shield for infantry. Uh, vehicle wheel process for extracting a sweetening agent from dio dio dioscorphelium cominci berries aeroplane all right the aeroplane uh, fire escape ladder the blind stop device for operating blind slats system for passing two color television signals through nonlinear path the puzzle radiation measuring and integrating device microbiological process for controlling the productivity of cultivated plants the motor surgical method bathroom appliances elect electric railway trolley uh, direct acting steam engine so Jacob's man Jacob's you know you, you eat a mice man you you gonna pay for hiding this these facts as well because there's a price for that all right This is page 57. Uh, Jelani Alayu, a Nigerian born car designer, by the way, Nigeria is West Coast, and a lot of jakes are there, so this guy's a jake. Alright, because the scripture fits it. Created the electric car called Chevrolet Volt as power conservation in automobile design begins to become more described. This car could gradually help to revolutionize the automobile industry 2007 so that was just four years ago all right um, here's another book called the black stars african-american inventors by Arthur Richard Sullivan Jim Hoskins general editor all right I'm going to go over to page one. I'm going to read this part. Okay, it says Daniel Hale Williams, the first physician to perform open heart surgery, was also an African American. Dr. Earl Shaw, a physicist, was the co inventor of a laser device that has helped hospitals throughout the world uh, provide radiation therapy for cancer patients. Uh, black inventors have also helped improve every mode of transportation from the bicycle to the space shuttle. Okay, um, Otis Boykin, for instance, contributed to the development of the guided missile. William Harwell invented the space shuttle retrieval arm. Adolf Shams invented a mul 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 multi-stage rocket. Uh, other African American, let me say Jake, because that's what they are. Inventors have made immeasurable contributions to the industrial growth of America. Dr. George Washington. Uh, Carver's discover, discoveries of hundreds of new ways to use peanuts and sweet potatoes save southern farms from poverty. Okay, uh, African Americans' con contributions have been diverse. I was going to name some. Fountain, fountain pen, dust pan, clothes dryer, cellular phone, lawn sprinkler, elevator, pencil, Sharpener, galvanic, galvanic battery, home security machine, player piano, toilet, postal letter box, uh, golf tee, guitar gas burner, egg beater, uh, air conditioner, train alarm, typewriter, horseshoe, and thousands of other practical inventions. Sarah Good, the first recorded black woman inventor, received a patent for a folding cabinet bed. Sarah Boone invented an ironing board. Henrietta Brad Bradbury invented a method for discharging torpedoes in wartime. It says, In the early days of the United States, prior to the Emancipation Proclamation, few African Americans could get patents to prove that they owned their inventions. Only free, only free people could receive patents. So that's the proof that they stole a lot of inventions. All right. <clears throat> 